a few years ago in Marshall, Texas. I had just finished preaching and the doxology had been sung, the dismissal prayer has been, had been said, and I had walked back to the vestibule to shake hands with the people who were coming out of the church building. And as I I was shaking hands with the persons coming out of the building, the members of the church who were coming out of the building. A young lady came by me, a very provocatively dressed member of our church. And at the present time, at that time, we had been working on the, on the parsonage next door to the building. And I had asked the ladies of the church to bring food stuff on Saturday to assist the men who were working free of charge to do some work on the parsonage and she had not come and there were other times I had asked her to be a part of the ministry of the church, a very talented young lady and I said to her on several occasions, you know you ought to uh, come on in here and get involved on some committees, get involved in the ministry of the church and go to work and do what you know that you can do to assist the church for the glory of God. And she said to me, she says, all right, uh, 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 Brother Washington, you just keep asking me about this and asking me about getting on a committee and asking me about getting in the ministry. And she said, as soon as I get some things straight, I'm going to come on in and do what I know I need to do. And she walked down the steps and got into her car and went home. And after I had finished doing what I usually do in the vestibule of the church, I had gone over to the uh, parsonage and my wife was preparing dinner when a phone call came in and on the other end someone had instructed me that I should come to a certain area because something had gone wrong at one of our members home and so I got in the car and I drove down uh, to the area where uh, this member of the church lived and I saw members of the church and I saw people gathered in the yard of this uh, member and then I saw the best friend of the young lady that I had spoken to a few moments ago in the church building. And I asked her, I said, what is going on here? Who is all of those people around the house of this particular member? And she was so distraught until at which time she could not uh, tell me anything. She just pointed to the house. So I drove up to the house and walked up the steps of the porch of this young lady that I had spoken to in the vestibule and uh, at that time uh, we had what we call screen doors and the the door of the house uh, was ajar a and I could see through the screen door into the living room and as I looked through the screen door and through the door that stood ajar I saw two stocking feet and I methodically and hesitantly pushed the door open and walked in and there I saw this young lady to whom I had just finished talking a few moments ago lying on the floor and I inquired what was wrong and I, I knew something uh, was, uh, was wrong and uh, I found out that she was dead, lying there on the living room floor. And I asked what had happened. And someone said that uh, when she came in from church, her husband was waiting for her in the living room with a 38 caliber pistol. And as she walked in the door, he shot her one time, and she was dead before she hit the floor. Now, I had just spoken to her just a few moments ago, and here she lay in a pool of blood, didn't have time even to change clothes. Death was waiting for her in her living room as soon as she arrived home. The first five minutes after death.
the first five minutes after death. Where did this young lady go? I just saw her. I had just talked to her a few moments ago. Now here she lay in a pool of blood, lifeless, on her living room floor. The question that came to my mind was, where did she go? Oh, how quickly we can depart this life. But even a greater question is, where do we go? Which raises the question, what really happened when we close our eyes for the last time? Where do we go when we die? Are we like the dog Rover? dead all over but is there another life after this life is over is there some Jordan river that we must cross when we die do we go to sleep and sleep until the judgment day where do we go what really happened the first five minutes after death. 